Welcome to the second tutorial of PowerPoint. In this tutorial, I will design a professional slide from scratch. In my previous video, I have created beautiful slide design from scratch. You can watch in my videos. Before starting the second tutorial, let me show you this slide with different layout. This one have background image and overlay color and the third one with professional slide. I will design all these slides from scratch. Now first go to the file, click new and select black presentation. Next to the slide section, create new slide and select title only. Select the heading and in fonts, I want to write with bold and change font size to 40. Click in the text box and type professional slide. Select the text from top and move down by a little bit. Now duplicate this heading by Ctrl D and move to up. Type a simple heading. Select the text and reduce the font size to 24 remove the bold from the heading and this one i want simple rather adjust the height and width of the text box like this and align to it properly now i want the contents or paragraph below the large heading so Go to the insert tab, select text box, click on the slide and I want lorem lipsum dummy text in my content. So I have copied the text and paste into the content. Default content is Calibri, so I want to change to it Roboto. Select all and change to Roboto. Decrease the font to 16 and align to it left properly. Now change the dark black to light black. Select the font and 35% lighter of black text and align to it left properly. All these things are aligned. Now I want the large rectangle on right hand side so go to the insert in shapes select rounded rectangle zoom out the slide and draw it rotate the rectangle like this right click on the rectangle and go to format shape click in size and properties show sizes and position size change to height 7.58 and width of the rectangle 10.58 change the rotation to 315 and change the horizontal position to 5.78 and vertical position of rectangle 0.7 now change the color to black remove the outline stroke I don't want to it and now I want a button in the content go to the insert tab click shapes and select again rounded rectangle draw it and end it it look like a button increase the radius to fold it change the color of the button go to the format and fill shape and select yellow Remove the outline to no outline. Add the text in the button view. Select all the text and change the color to black. Now change the font of button to Roboto. Default was Calibri. Move to 16. Next the rounded rectangle very large. I want to cut it and fit into the slide. So go to the insert and click shapes and select rectangle. 
start from top of the slide and fill into the slide. Now I don't know where the slide end, so click on the rectangle and add small transparency. Now I want to see where the slide end. Select the rectangle and fit all into the slide. Select both of the rounded rectangle and end rectangle. Now I have set to intersect. Now it have removed the extra space of rectangle and fit into the slide. I will show you how to add this intersect and merge shape in top of the bar. So go to the file, click options and in, in access toolbar select all commands. I have added combined shapes and merge shapes. So click in the left of the panel type C and find the combined shape and merge shape. Here is the combined shape you can add it and click OK and also find the merge shape and find and add into it. So I have already added so I have cancelled it out. Now change the color to again black or oh sorry I have added the transparency remove the transparency to zero. Now add the circle in top of the rectangle. Let me show you go to the insert and click shapes and select oval shape draw it and change the color fill shape to orange remove the outline and like this one i will duplicate two times and remove the fill color and add the stroke so ctrl d one time and align this and increase the size of now remove the fill shape, fill color and add orange outline. Again duplicate this by Ctrl D and align this like this and increase the size. Next add the three text in black rectangle on the right on the side. Now go to the insert and text box and click it type 01 and select the text and change to Ralu. Again I want the bold font and increase the size. Change the color to white. Select the text and add into this one. Now I want the small Lauren some text like a content. So I have duplicated this content. Select the text from the border and shortcut of control D move to up in like this one and this paragraph very large so I will reduce it so remove this to turn into a small paragraph and change the color to white now select the number one and duplicate one time again like this one and one time again to this one change to 0 2 and now change 0 3 now I want to point out where is the number so I will add a small circle in the numbers like a bullets so go to the insert and in shapes select oval draw a small circle and align from third stroke and change Remove the outline and add fill color. Duplicate two times again and align it like this. Now the slat design is completed. Let me show you how it looks like. Oh, there is a border in the rounded rectangle. So let me remove it, click on the rectangle, go to format and remove shape outline. Let me play this again. Here is the final slide. Next, I will design another slide with modification of this slide. So click on the slide, Ctrl D, duplicate of the slide 
and now I have duplicated so remove this text and by holding the shift key and press delete now select the rounded rectangle right click and click format shape now select click on the picture and texture field and click on the file I have downloaded these images so you can choose whatever you want for your presentation or you can download your own image select the desert image and it looked like rotation so remove the rotation rotate with shape so remove the rotation and now the image is aligned with 90 degree angle select these whole shapes and control G to group it out and send to back remove these small circles now the slide is completed if you want to add overlay color to a background select image and control D and align to it to the image now go to the fill and select solid fill change to yellow and add small transparency or opacity like this or you can choose whatever you feel good for your image for my presentation like this one or that one but I prefer the yellow one for my presentation or you want to delete this and this is the final slide let me show you how it look like now let's move on the third slide duplicate this slide by control D next remove the overlay opacity and select the image go to the format and in edit shape change the shape to this one and change the rotation of the rectangle to 90 degree hold down the shift and move like this move to up and align into the slide decrease the angle of the rectangle to more like this image now duplicate this image and align to it change the fill color to solid and again change to yellow increase the size the angle and send to back now again duplicate this yellow rectangle and change the color to black increase the angle send to back now again duplicate this and change the color to light gray or more light gray increase the angle and send to back now the final slide is done the first one second one and the third one let me show you how the final slide look like the first one the second and the third i will add the animation of all these in next video thanks for watching the video